<sighs> Hello, this is Marjorie. I am uh, about uh, about eight days into keto, my ketogenic diet, and I'm not doing this to actually put on YouTube, but if I lose 100 pounds, it'll be on YouTube. Anyway, um, I'm doing this for my own accountability, and I'm just excited to say I'm down 7.3 pounds, and I'm fine-tuning everything. My ketones are up. I haven't tested today, but yesterday they were 2.9, I think. I've been in the threes once, and that's with the blood testing. Um, I have gobs of energy, and I'm actually so thrilled. Um, I've been watching Casey Durango, Keto, Go Keto with Casey, or something like that on YouTube. And she's younger than me, but not by leaps and bounds. I mean, she's she looks a lot younger because she's lost 100 pounds. Well, 98 maybe. And uh, I just got to say that I'm, you know, I've dieted and fallen off and dieted and fallen off. And each time I have learned something, it's a learning process. And I may be 66 years old, but I will not quit trying to get the weight off of this body so I can live longer. And um, I used to be vegan. Um, I used to eat raw food, just raw vegetables and soaked nuts and things of that nature for years. In fact, I taught raw food classes. And um, I also have been on the HCG diet. Uh, like everybody that's overweight, I've tried everything just about. Um, the HCG diet, I lost a lot of weight, and I think I destroyed my metabolism and my skin with that. Um, especially at my age, it's not easy to bounce back. So, anyway, um, although I don't consider myself old, because my husband's mom is 92. She walks three miles a day. She's thin and healthy, and, um, and she drinks a mark a couple of martinis in the evening or you know half a bottle of wine and she's doing just great so exercise that'll be coming along for me I'm not one of those that is doing this because I don't want to exercise of course right now exercise is difficult because I have short you know shortness of breath because of the weight and also um, because my joints from carrying all this weight around but as I lose, I'm, my energy level's up, so I am getting more exercise just walking around the house doing things. My house is getting spectacular. Every cupboard's getting cleaned out. It's the energy boost you get from keto when you first start particularly is so refreshing. Okay, so down seven, what did I say, 7.3? Yeah, and super excited. Um, it's summertime here, and uh, I'm rambling. Can't think of anything else important to say other than last night I had forgotten to eat because I wasn't that hungry and I realized it was almost seven and I don't like to eat after six. So I ran in, threw some hamburger in, a, in the cast iron skillet and uh, onion salt, garlic salt. Uh, I normally would have used real onions and garlic but in a hurry and uh, chopped up a whole bell pepper and threw that in there to saute. Put it in a bowl, uh, put a, about a half a cup or maybe three fourths of a cup of grated sharp cheddar and then a little dollop of sour cream. And I gotta tell you, that was so good. It was so good with that whole bell pepper in there, like, kind of like a stuffed pepper maybe kind of thing, I don't know. It was so good that I actually thought I was afraid to go on scale this morning. So the fact that I'm down like a pound and something after eating that delicious dinner at seven. Okay, I'm really excited about this this time. I've, I've got a lot of extra goodies I'm using. I have gone on YouTube and found awesome recipes for things that might be tempting me to cheat, like biscuits and gravy. <laughs> I have bought coconut flour, almond flour, they're on my counter in pretty de pretty glass jars labeled and ready to go for when I, you know, pancakes, waffles, 
You can do that on the keto diet without using uh, flour and sugar. You use cream cheese, eggs, coconut flour, almond flour, uh, and you don't have to give up all your goodies. So I'm mostly fine tuning it to what I like to eat. I have bought Maria Emmerich's, I think two of her cookbooks, one with Jimmy Moore. I have bought Ke uh, Leanne Vogel's cookbook, her new one, which is really helpful. Um, I drink that keto flu lemonade that she invented and I actually add some calms to that for the minerals every day. And it's just, it, it, I developed my little rhythm and I think, I think I have finally learned enough to do it this time. And that's why I'm doing these videos to be accountable. Okay, timer says this is almost six minutes, so that's enough for today. Um, oh, and by the way, I would have normally put makeup on to cover those spots, but I'm hoping those spots go away, and I'm hoping I just become incredibly beautiful after doing keto and losing all that. No, I'm kidding. I just hope I get healthy. <laughs> and the spots might go away. They kind of come and go. They seem to be way better, um, that, 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 and that specifically. I don't know why it's always that side, but anyway. And uh, so we'll see. I thought I'd just be open and honest, and this is what I look like. No makeup, and with jowls. Hoping those go away. Don't want to have a facelift. Okay, enough of that. Um, July 1st, 2017. And maybe in the next video or two, I'll tell you what my weight is and what my starting weight is. <laughs> Bye.